Yep. <laughs> Bro, I literally just mo I had to walk. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna be freaking indebted to him. You know what? I bet this is a scam. Now that I think about it, again, things I didn't pick up on as a child, I bet that this is a scam this boy runs. Hey guys, it's Michaela, and welcome to the first ever Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door video here on my YouTube channel. When I say I have been looking forward, patiently awaiting this game to come out since it first got announced, Y'all, I've been counting down the days. Oh my God, I cannot believe the day is finally here for us to begin the playthrough of this brand new Switch game on my channel. Well, actually it's not that new. For those of you who may not know, this game, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, was originally released for the GameCube in 2004. That's right, 20 years later, they have remastered it. It has revamped graphics. I'm not sure if it has any new additions in it, but we will find out together. I have done my best to try to avoid spoilers, but listen, I want you guys to have fun in these comments, okay? You don't have to worry about spoiling anything for me. I have actually already played this game. And when I say I've played this game, I mean the OG, okay? Not only have I played the GameCube version of Paper Mario, I still have it. The GameCube is probably my favorite system Nintendo has ever released merely because of the nostalgia. So many good games are on the GameCube. The N64 is a very close runner up though, but I have had this game for nearly two decades now and it it has such a special place in my heart. Y'all can tell if you can see, uh, she's a little beat up. She's very well loved, but Look at this. The GameCube Paper Mario TTYD has officially been replaced by the Switch version. This is crazy to me, you guys. Like, I love it. And definitely comment down below which cover art you guys like better. I think, I think I'm leaning toward the Switch. I do. As I mentioned, I played this game as a mere little child and it, it, it means a lot to me. It's one of the earliest RPG games I have memories playing. Like I used to wake up hours before school started at like five or 6 a.m., call my cousin on the phone because we didn't have video calling back then. Or at least I didn't have access to it. Again, child. And we would play together on the phone. Okay, it's been a long, long time since I've played it though. So while I have already completed it, I don't remember a lot. And I kind of like that about myself. My memory, while it can be concerning at times, when I forget things in like super minute details that are not relevant to my everyday life of things like video games, it comes in handy because I'm gonna be just as surprised about some of these things as y'all are. So yes, I remember the main premise. I remember pretty much all of the characters, but this is one of the most charming, and I mean, charming games I think exists, honestly. If you haven't played it before, you're in for a treat. Trust me on that one. And if you have, I'm so excited that you're here and we can replay it together. And if you're on the fence about getting the game or you're not sure if you wanna spend 60 freaking dollars on it, perhaps stay to the end of the video. I may or may not have a giveaway to tell you guys about, but we'll get to that later. I also have a brand new controller to kick off the brand new game. You'd think I would have gotten this controller when I played Princess Peach Showtime here on my channel, but um, you know, that didn't happen. So it's here now and it goes very well with my crown. I feel like this is just a tradition for brand new Mario games at this point. And keeping everything brand new for our brand new game, we have a brand new candle. This is Bourbon Maple by White Barn and y'all, I'm trying to contain myself because this, I, I have, I'm so freaking excited about this game. Like y'all truly do not understand. This is definitely top 10 games for me, maybe top five, maybe top five. I don't know. And you know, because our energy is so incredibly high, why not add to that with an energy drink? This is not my usual beverage, you know, but we're gonna be filming a lot of videos today. That's the plan at least, so why not? I have an Alani new here with me. This is my only energy drink brand I really drink. Celsius's are fine. Alani new craps on Celsius. I'm sorry, I said it. I have Juicy Peach. I hope you guys are drinking something just as amazing. Ah! I cannot believe that we're freaking here. Cheers. <sighs> you guys, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And another thing, y'all, Luigi's Mansion 2 comes out in literally five weeks, which is too quick for me. So I don't know how many videos of this game there's gonna be per week, but we're gonna kinda have to blast through it a little bit. I don't know, I don't know. I'm overwhelmed, but in the best way. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Okay, guys. I mean, okay, duh, but like, it says 2004. 
her. That is so precious. Okay. I'm, I'm just like, listen, I played Super Mario RPG, which was a remake as well, but I had never played Super Mario RPG before. That's another thing. This was kind of like Super Mario RPG's successor, which I just had no idea of until Super Mario RPG came out for the Switch. So this game, when I was playing Super Mario RPG, a lot of the time I made comparisons to Paper Mario. And for those of you, again, who haven't seen the gameplay of this, you're gonna see what I mean. This gameplay to me is like that gameplay, but better. Like they did their big one with this game, okay? That is all I'm gonna say. Okay, as y'all can see, we have seven stars, seven crystal stars to be exact, if I remember correctly, blank slate, all right? And we have our work cut out for us. That I know, that I know. It's always interesting replaying games as an adult that you got stuck on as a child. Because there were many times I got stuck on this game as a child. Like, many times, okay? Oh, my God. This is so weird. This is so weird. I feel like I'm playing the GameCube right now, but this is very much not that. And if y'all have seen the comparison photos online of, like, the old graphics of some of the scenes versus the new ones, like, it looks incredible. Oh my god. Tragedy. Not the cladicism. The cladicism? Not the cataclysm. <laughs> that was actually foreshadowing to something I'll tell you guys about later. The, the amount of just big words that many children don't understand the meaning of that they use throughout this game, it's, it's, it's ridiculous to me. I can't wait to tell you all that story later when we get to that part. Oh my gosh. Like what a cool concept for a game. What a freaking cool concept. <sighs> Deep underground. Oh man. Rogueport. Is it Rogueport? Now that I think about it, I've always called it Rogueport. It might be Rogueport. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Okay. <laughs> Does that not look like a noose to y'all? Listen, that's what I always thought as a kid. Does that not look like where they do the village hangings? I'm just saying. Listen, Nintendo didn't think that one through. How on brand is it? that we're starting the game as Peach. Listen, Peach is my girl, would die for her, would die for her. Toadsworth is always paranoid, Peach. That's never gonna change. Oh my gosh, not on holiday, we're British now. <laughs> yeah, wait, okay, this, is this? That's the thing, it's been so long since I've played the original. I don't remember a lot of things. Did we always start with Peach talking? I feel like not. Maybe we did, maybe we did. Distinct flavor. This I remember. What do you have? I love a knickknack and a doodad, I do. But what do you have? Are you trying to scam me by chance? Are you trying to pull one over on me? A map that shows where to find the treasure. Peach, we should get that. We should get that. The box has a magical lock that will only open for a pure and noble heart. No problem. No problem. <laughs> this man just said, I'm a terrible person. It won't be opening for me. <laughs> okay. Sounds great. Okay. Okay. Why not? What's the harm? God, I'm, oh, I'm feeling, do you guys ever get overwhelmed with nostalgia? That's what I'm feeling right now. So forgive me if I'm, if I'm just being a lot. I'm just, I, I'm overwhelmed. Oh my God. Oh. 
My freaking heart is gonna explode, bro. Mail call! See, I feel like this is how the game usually started. I don't I don't think it started the other way. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, hello? Listen, we're not doing this again. I did say I got a brand. Oh, you know what? You know what? My controller did in fact just die. That that's on me. I I just picked this up, you guys, from the mailbox, and <laughs> she hasn't been charging. <laughs> but we're back. We're gonna have to have to have to have her attached to the charger for a little bit. I think yeah, this is how the game started off. I feel like I I I'm pretty sure. Thickest thieves, Mario and Luigi. So cute. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is coming back. This is coming back. Of course. Of course, Peach. Amazing. I hope you made a copy, though. Like, sending me your only copy in the freaking mail is kind of crazy, but okay. Period. Period. I feel like it is Rogue Port. Rogue Port? I don't know. Let's see it. Let's see it. I can't. This is too much. Like, the way I remember all of those places distinctly, I, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be drinking caffeine. <laughs> is that new too? I think this is new too. That's beautiful. I love that. I love that. That's okay. Prologue. This is, this is not new. A rogue's welcome. A root. I think it's rogue. Either way. <laughs> oh my God. This is so freaking exciting. Are we in Bowser's? Bowser's area now. We have to be. Oh, no, no, no. They're talking to Mario. Stunning. Stunning. Similarly to my past Nintendo videos, we're going to try to keep these videos around an hour, but historically, sometimes they've been two. So we'll see. Again. We have five uninterrupted weeks of time to complete this before Luigi's Mansion comes out. <sighs> Guys, this is just so special. This is just so special. Thank you all for being here if you're watching. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, the princess, the princess. Don't get it twisted. Okay, rogue port, root port. Okay, can I switch these? I already wanna switch the controls. The controls, okay. Thank God. Oh wait, can I switch them? Oh, I don't think I can. I wonder if I can. Okay, well, before we get into that, let's check out the pause screen. So it looks like we have Mario, gear, journal, and then settings. And the only settings we can change are the rumble, Ooh, let's make it strong. Heck yeah. Test. I'm not feeling anything, which means either my new controller doesn't have it, which would be weird and kind of problematic, or I need to turn a setting on, but I will figure that out off camera. But okay. Brightness, we're good. I don't want to go to the title screen. So I cannot change the hammer and jump button. So I will have to get used to that. No problem. We have our map, of course. And as you guys can see, let's go back there. We are looking for star pieces as well as shine sprites, right? That sounds about right. Oh, interesting. As far as scrolling the text. So for Rookport, the description is an unseemly place full of 
rogues. See, like when it's when it's rogue port to me, it looks like rogue port. But when it's just the word rogue, it looks like rogue. So I guess it's rogue port. I think we're gonna go with rogue port. Comment down below. Let me know if I'm crazy. Anyways, an unseemly place full of rogues because they're rogue and criminals. The harbor is in the south. A thieves hideout lies to the east. The western area is home to Pianta Syndicate HQ and Rogueport Station is to the north. Trains and blimps connect to the other towns. Perfection. All right, that's the map. We have the art gallery, which we obviously have no art because we just started and then same with sound. Okay. Again, no gear for useful items and items, nothing. It looks like zero out of 15, so we can get 15 total. And then useful items does not have a number. And then for controls, we are starting off with a measly 10 HP, five FP, and three badge points, if I remember correctly again. Oh, I was right on the star pieces and shine sprites though. So I think those were badge points. Yeah, because there's badges, there's badges in this game, y'all. The badges were the one thing I was missing from Super Mario RPG. Cause again, that game came before this one. The badges are so fun. I, I'm, I can't, I can't. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We will get used to the jump and the hammer. That is fine with me. Okay, did I just lose? Yep, okay. So you can in fact fall into many things here. As y'all saw, I just lost. HP. Let me see what all these controls do. Okay, X and Y don't do anything. R brings up this. Cool. Okay. Z, R, and ZL do nothing. And then, oh, the little keypad brings up. Okay, cool. Very nice. So does minus. So does plus. And then we have the camera and home. All right. I think we're ready to go, people. I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. Why the heck not? Perfect. Amazing. Will freaking do. Will freaking do. Oh, you know what? ZR at some point is going to be able to turn me sideways and it lets me slither through cracks. That's why it doesn't have a control right now. <sighs> Boy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. You never know when you're just going to pass away. So make sure you save. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen her? Okay. Yeah. I think you'd remember a princess. Um, both. <laughs> okay. Take. Oh, oh my God. I remember this. This is Goombella, isn't it? Goombella. Ah! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. Goombella. Not a good little student. Ew is right. Um, are you threatening to murder her in front of all of these witnesses? No, you're not. Freaking Lord Crump. Oh God. Oh God, I gotta go save her right now. Actually, no, because I can't be having that. I can't have that. If there's one person I would die for since, you know, according to old Bommy here, I, I can die at any time. It's that girl right there, okay? She's the equivalent of Malo. Like she gives you all of the tea on everybody. She is a lifesaver. crump a -bomb? Are we getting into a bat? Okay. Right now? Right now. Can't flee this fight. Perfect. Perfect. Ma'am, you, j I just met you. I just met you. Okay. <laughs> no sweat. Wow. Oh my God. Ugh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So we have jump hammer. We have items, which we have none of, or usually you can run, but you can't this time. We have normal jump and we have normal hammer. Let's do normal hammer. Okay, they kept the light, the controls the same, which is good. 
period. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's how you know I've played this before, okay? I know what the frick time it is. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's try jumping. Period. Gorgeous. Ooh, you know what I just remembered? Again, I'll be making, I guess, a lot of comparisons between this and RPG, but in RPG, you can similarly block attacks or lessen attacks by blocking, right? Lessen the damage you take. In Paper Mario, not only can you block, you can return the attack while you're defending from theirs. Does that make any sense? Probably not, but let's try to show you. Oh, that too? Oh, well, I can't show you because I freaking killed him too quickly. Oh my God. You know, it's gonna be interesting how smooth this playthrough is gonna go because I I have experience because that's not the case usually. <sighs> Star points, and that's how you level up. Perfect. Okay, so it's 100 points each time. And I love that it's just on the screen because in RPG, you just never really knew when you were gonna level up. It just happened sometimes, but you can pretty much always see it. So I love that. Oh my God. Get out of here, Crump. A couple of decent, decent shots. I killed you, dude. I killed you. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this isn't great. Okay. Yeah, I see the issue here. I see the issue here. Um, um, <laughs> no, they actually are idiots. Okay, wait, but I didn't talk to everybody over here first. Can I go back? Dang. Wait, maybe I can. No. Oh, 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 no. Can I, can I hammer them out? No. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I did not talk to everyone over there, so hopefully I can later. But for now, I'm out of here. See ya, suckers. I cannot become a sailboat yet, but that I will be able to do later. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Okay, let's run away officially now. Bye, guys. See you never. Heading into town. Uh, yeah. Silly gooses. Pay attention. Goombella, it was my literal pleasure. Like, wow. Is it a kiss on the cheek? It was. It was. And you know what? That's a little concerning because I am a happily married man. But I'm sure Peach won't mind. Hopefully. <laughs> She's a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you too, Goombella. Oh, yes. I see some Piantas there in the back, which is a little concerning as well, because they look really freaking sketchy, but we'll handle that eventually. Yeah. Um, um, hello? Hello? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the heck just happened back there? <laughs> Hello? Okay. <laughs> it's definitely Rogue Port. It has to be. Seriously. Do you want to help me? Do you want to help me? It's from my wife. Her name's Princess Beach. Yeah, Princess Beach. The Princess Beach. Yeah. <laughs> Toadsworth? What are you doing here? Well, I guess that's who told Peach to come here. Toadsworth, you do not belong in a place like this. Yeah, she did. Have you seen her by chance? Because, like, if you haven't, that's a problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not great. Uh-huh. 
You know what? That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. That's why you don't stop at sketchy gas stations, you guys. <sighs> what? Dude! Why are- that sounds way too easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I've never seen somebody so unbothered about the princess that they are responsible for missing. Little weird, little weird, little strange. Okay, thank you, thank you, Toadsworth. Yeah, you you go rest. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. <laughs> yeah, 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 he did. Um, yeah. She's not great about avoiding kidnappings, but she has a lot of other redeeming qualities. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> I hope not. And also I know not. Oh, the professor! Ah. Okay, sounds like a great plan. Amazing! <laughs> Yay! A primer. Okay, okay. Amazing. Goomther, so freaking cute. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. You know what, Goomther? Happens to the best of them. Happens to the best of them, babe. Do not feel bad, okay? <laughs> Amazing. I cannot believe this is happening right now. I do. I do think I've mastered them. Thank you so much for the explanation. Awesome. Her tattle ability, that's what it's called. Oh, perfect. Professor Frankly! Franklin, where are you? Oh man, Franklin and Franklin need to meet. Franklin's my cat, if any of you guys are new here. <laughs> One of them. Okay. Okay! The central shopping area. Okay. Okay, okay, okay! Oh my god. Hey, King. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot about this too. So in this game, we get like little side quests or whatever. And if there's one thing I love, it's a side quest. Okay, I love a side quest. So we get little tasks or whatever. And then if we complete them, we get rewards. And I think this is one of them. So we're looking for a guy who defrauded. Is this Goomther? I feel like there were multiple Goombas that look like this, but assuming this is Goomther, we are looking for a guy who defrauded Goomther with a fake credit card. Give him a wallet. Noted. Okay. Say less. Say less, Goomther. Also, we are going to be checking every nook and every cranny because we are looking for what's called star pieces like you guys saw earlier. And those will be very helpful for our purposes. The town noose. Yep. Yep. Just like I left it. The fact that it just moved when I jumped into it, I feel like that's a new feature. Hold on, let me see if I can do it again. Yeah, that, this I think, I don't think this happened before. I feel like this is gonna be kind of the additions that they made to the game, like little quality of life improvements like that. Love it, uh. Okay, you're also Goomther, so both of you can't be Goomther. Okay. You know what, I actually did know that, but thank you. <laughs> And we're very much good on HP. But you guys can see now we have Goombella up there too. She also has 10. I wonder if she's in. Oh, yeah. So we have a new tab now under party. Perfect. She's unranked for now, but we can see her moves over there. Head, bonk, and tattle. 
each of which takes zero flower points. So they're free, which we love. And then it says she's a smart, if sassy Goomba girl. She hopes to be an archeologist one day. Amazing. Okay. Love, love, love. We love to freaking see it. The trickiest part about this I remember as a kid is remembering what character told you what. Because for example, let's say I find the guy that defrauded that Goomba, which Goomba was it? You gotta try to remember those things. So that's gonna probably still be an issue because there's so many freaking people to talk to you as you guys can see. And I'm loving every second of it. Awesome. Freaking awesome. All right, our first star piece. Is that up there now? Oh no, that's on the screen, right? Yep. All right, we have one star piece. Very exciting. Hi. On the east side. Okay. As you enter the town from the harbor, hang a right. Got it. Why does... No! Guys, believe it or not, not everybody steals things. Another quality of life improvement. I feel like these didn't shake before. I could be wrong. I could be giving the game too much credit. And I'm very curious if you guys have played before and remember the GameCube version. If y'all have any feedback for me, let me know those things. Because that would be a super fun convo, convo to have in the comments. Okay, might as well save. I'm pretty big on saving whenever we can, especially when it's that quickly. And I'm actually not gonna head east because I want to explore a little bit more first. So let's go ahead and go in the inn. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, yes, 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 hi. You're a reformed sailor. Okay, very nice, very nice. All right. Um, rude? Rude. You get yapped. You get yapped. Hi, Winston. Hi. Have you come to say hi to the people for the brand new game? I know you just want food. You're gonna get fed in five minutes. They have an auto feeder and he's acting like he doesn't know that. But I'm so glad he came to say hello. This is Winston, everybody. <laughs> Flavio, yes! Flavio, Flavio. <laughs> He's a traitor and the richest man in Rogueport. That's pretty crazy. For being the rich. Gotta get bopped for being rich. I'm bopping everybody. Podley's Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. That's so sweet. All right, thank you. Let's go upstairs, guys. Hi, Winston. You're about to eat in two seconds. Two seconds. Oh, God. Okay. Can we get a single light on? Oh, we do have a lamp over here. Is the power out up here? Like, what's going on? It's looking a little uh, rough. Yeah, so normally I would, but because I have pretty much full HP, I will not be wasting five coins at this time. But thank you so much. Listen, coins are slim pickings right now, girl. We just started the game, okay? I can't just be using them willy-nilly. Really? You seem really troubled, Toadsworth. God. <laughs> okay, these beds do not bounce. Noted. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, secret door. Heck yes. Oh, I just, oh. Oh, I think there was a star piece over here. Oh no. Oh, I'm trying to remember the shine sprites. I think, I think they can pop up literally anywhere. Meaning like I could jump into one right now that I can't see if I remember correctly. I don't know. What about right here? No, okay. Well, nothing weird seems to be going on right now. So let's go ahead and go in here. Oh, it's locked. They'll open at 11 a.m. today. Okay, so I guess it's before 11 a.m. then. Okay. So as you guys can see, we're currently above where we were when we were on the ground. And I think I can go onto this roof and fall back into that corner, but I don't want to get lost because again, there's a lot to explore in this game and it will be easy to get lost. So I'm gonna try to keep things organized as we explore Rogue for a little bit. But if I need to do that, I will definitely be back. Definitely be back. Okay, 
Continuing left. Did we talk to you already? We did not. Um, okay. Okay, could you be more specific? No? Okay. Sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy. I'll take it though. This is the item shop. Stunning. I have 100 coins, like I said. Yeah, we can get some items. Oh, I can only have max 15 items at once. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. The Toad Rose Bazaar. I love a bazaar. I love a bazaar, okay? That reminds me of Zelda and that makes me really happy. Hey, it is. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm with you. Oh, I would love. Amazing. No. Oh. No, you did not need to put yes there. <laughs> no. Okay. S zero out of 32 stored. Okay, I'm definitely not here to sell because I don't have anything. It looks like you can manually come and store items if you have too many, as well as withdraw them. And I definitely don't have any points, so I'm good. Thank you. Okay, let's see what rare items he has. Ooh, uh, if I remember correctly, I think the gold bars didn't do anything. I could be wrong though. Cause like, why would you spend a hundred coins on points on something that doesn't do anything? But I don't know, I don't know. Either way, I do think we should pick up some items because we don't have any. And as good as I am at this game, because I played it before, when it comes to battling, um, I'm gonna need items at some point. So I say we get three mushrooms. Dang, I wish I could buy more than one at once. I wonder if that'll be available later. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna buy, we'll do two, nah, yeah. Well, we'll do one honey syrup because I don't even think I have any abilities that I need FP for right now. That, uh, yeah, we'll just have one. We'll do one tasty tonic. So Tasty Tonics cure poison and uh, basically just like refresh you, refresh your status. A fire flower, I love a fire flower. I love a fire flower, but they are expensive. So we'll get one, we'll get one for now. We'll get one sleepy sheep as well. Amazing, okay. All right, so now if we go into our items, Amazing. So uh, these are grayed out because we cannot use them because they can only be used in battle. These can be used in battle and outside of battle. So we're good. All right. I think we are as stocked as we're going to need to be. What is this for? Contact lenses sold out. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I can't jump over it. Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Toad Bros Bazaar. What's this sign say? Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best to stay indoors as everyone is very much outside. We are outside, baby. Okay. Hey. Oh my god, I just remembered the recipes too. Oh, I'm I can't. Oh, there's just so much to love about this game. I can't. Sir. Oh no! But they're freshly sold out of contact lenses. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I'm going to try not to be annoying and tell you guys what's going to happen every single time before. So I'll, I'll try my best not to do that. <laughs> Even though I know what's about to happen. Yep. <laughs> Bro, I literally just, I had to walk. Oh my God. Now I'm going to be freaking indebted to him. You know what? I bet this is a scam. Now that I think about it, again, things I didn't pick up on as a child. I bet that this is a scam this boy runs. He puts a fake contact lens on the ground or whatever, gets somebody to step on it and then demands coins or whatever to pay for it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Boy, I ain't got no coins for you. Gosh darn it. You're, you're, you're a jerk. You're trash and you're a jerk. 
And you have bad vision. Try to see if I can, I know I can't, but <laughs> whatever, dude. I didn't want to go to the west side anyway, even though I really did. Okay, we'll be back. This place is a very special place, you guys. Like, you'll, you'll see later on, you'll see later on, but a lot of magic is made in here, okay? That's all I'll say for now. Oh, we are behind some, oh, we're inside something, okay. Make sure there's no star pieces back here. They be hiding those things very sneakily. Okay. Nothing we can do in here for now, but we will very much be back to you. And I think we've now officially explored every single thing and person. Ooh, you know what I just realized? Oh, I can be pressing X to all these people. <gasps> okay, I have to remember that because that's not something I even did the first time. If that was even an option the first time, I don't know. Okay, so this is Goomther. Please. Okay, so if that's Goomther, then who are you? Oh, gotta make sure I'm touching them. There we go. Oh, he's just a local Goomba. He doesn't have a name. <laughs> okay, talk to him as often as possible. Okay, so I will be back for you, local Goomba. You. A lazy Dugan. He hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well? Wait, what did he say? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, and there's a treasure chest up here, you guys. Y'all see that? We'll be back for that, too. Ooh. Oh, my God. Mouse a million. Mouse a million. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You. Come here. I want to know more about you. Zesty. Oh, this is the chef. Zesty, please get back into your kitchen. I need you to bake me something. It's too busy being blind, bro. Oh, it's a girl. My bad girl, my bad queen. That's all me, my bad, my bad. I will be back for you, unfortunately. Now, we were just in here and they were out of contact lenses. So that's not great, but I'll, we'll have to, oh, yes, something is the matter. Yes, do you happen to have any in the back, please? Can you check the back for me? <sighs> Did you even check the back, bro? I feel like anytime you're in a department store, you're like, yeah, can you check in the back? I feel like they walk back there and just like set a five minute timer and then walk back up, bro. Like you didn't even check. You'll special order one right away, but it'll take a while. Great, thank you. Well, thank you for at least offering that. Thrifty! The puns are so good. So we have Zesty, Zesty, and then we have Thrifty, Thrifty. I would say so. Oh yeah. Oh, we fight all the time, but that's brothers for you. So that one's Zesty and this one's Plenty. This is the manager. I love it. Yeah. They're literally twins. Okay, I'll be back for my contacts. And then I didn't uh, X everybody in here, so I want to do that real quick. A bob -omb sailor. Okay. Absolutely. Podly. I'm not going to remember all these names. There are way too many characters, but I, I'm loving every second of this. Awesome. That's so much fun. Okay. Okay. You. You. <laughs> okay. And then we'll go back upstairs too. Um, for those of you who may be new to my channel, um, I like to do every single thing available in games. I am a completionist, so I like to talk to everybody, touch everything, look everywhere, uh, obtain every item, do every single side quest, like everything. So just a heads up, just a heads up. Aw. Will do. Toadsworth. 
He's an active senior. <laughs> Has he be, been really worried? I, I'm not getting that from him, Goombella, but if you say so. If you say so. Okay, so before we head east, as you guys may recall, which is probably where Professor Frankly is, I wanna go back here into the alley and it's gonna flip around. Ah! Ooh, you know what? That's kind of weird. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm pretty sure in the GameCube version, it didn't go black. Huh. That's kind of odd. I don't know why they did that. That seems like a really unnecessary thing that like decreases, I think the effect of the world twisting, but okay. First thing I found that I'm not a fan of, but that is okay. Hey King, you blew through a hundred coins gambling? Oh God. Oh wait, did y'all see? It, that I think is the, the, that's new. That's new, has to be. Very good, very good. I love that. Who are you? A suspicious Dugan. Okay. <laughs> he depresses me. I'm dead. All right, good Bella, thank you. You guys see the wanted posters? I love it. Okay. Let's go through this door, if we can. Oh, we can. Oh, God. Okay, whoever lives in here is a freaking pack rat. Man. Oh, yay! Heck yeah! Ooh, that little green animation was nice, too. Ew! Do you guys see the freaking roach? That's disgusting. Do y'all see it? Ew! Ew, I'm leaving. That's freaking disgusting. <laughs> Alright, let's head over here. Ooh. More roaches outside. I mean, it is a back alley. Hey, come here. I'm a wanted Goomba. He was a thief in another town until about three months ago. Sir, once a thief, always a thief, okay? Huh. I see. No, because I know you're a side quest and I will absolutely not be keeping that a secret for very long. But I guess for now you're safe because I have no benefit in telling on you. Just saying. I'm just being honest with you guys. Ooh, I guess I should X him too. Mick Goomba. He's on the lamb. <laughs> oh my god. He's on the lamb. Okay. All right. That's actually all that's in this back alley for now. And speaking of that roof, we can go fall off of it now, but I don't think it's going to do anything that I can't already do. So we can confirm though. Back in the end we go, we'll go back upstairs. Okay. That door was locked and then we can fall off, right? Yeah. Oh! Yay. Frick yeah. Okay. All right, nothing up there. I think I can fall into this box. Cool. And I can fall into this box. And I can fall into this box. And this box. Okay. And then just to make sure all of my bases are... Oh, dang it. I was trying to fall into this trash can. I'm good with that, though. Just to make sure all of my bases are covered, I'm going to go back in and fall onto the barrels over there. Just to triple, triple check and be absolutely certain that there's no shine sprites. Because I feel like the shine sprites, if I remember correctly... Like, you you just jump into them. Like, they just exist in places that are hidden, you know? Now that I think about it, make sure I'm jumping on everything that's, like, circular. Hey, baby. Okay. Go over here. And then this time we'll fall onto these. Okay. Okay. Not seeing any shine sprites for now, though, unless it was on that trash can, but that that would just be unfortunate. I think I'm good, though. And I think all that's left to do is go to the east side. Yeah. Okay, let's save again. We've done quite a bit. Quite a bit. All right, and let's go find Professor Frankly, you guys. Oh, God. Um, this man just stole half my coins. That's not great. Glad I spent some of them. 
Very rude. Very freaking rude. Wait, no, I actually have to go find those. Oh, you know what? I bet he's hiding in that alley. Winston's trying to get under the covers with me. With me. Okay, let me make sure. Oh, and I, I guess I could go back down there and see if anything changed too. But before that, I'm trying to go in this back alley. I think that man just stole all my coins and went and hid. And that's not okay. Sir. Sir. No? Ooh, what if he's in here? <gasps> Dude! What is wrong with you? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Thank you? Freaking jerk? Who are you? And what is your problem? A bandit who's made this place his hideout. His hideout. And he loves it. That's disgusting. And you're disgusting. So you guys make sense together. Love that for you. Okay. Now that we have our coins back, we can proceed. <laughs> and hopefully not get robbed a second time, because that was crazy. The loading screen is like a circle of crystal stars. That's so freaking cute. Hi. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's just such great advice from the characters here. That's Goomfree the Goomba. Okay. A fixer. He can make any problem just go away. That's concerning. Thank you. Thank you, Goomfree. All right. We'll be over. Ooh. Oh, this is the whole thing's gated off. Okay. Okay. So there's a pipe over there we can't access, it looks like, and more cockroaches. Amazing, amazing. Let's go back here, because I can remember that there's something back here. Awesome, hi. Um, y'all are just ridiculous. <laughs> he just threatened to batter me. Okay, Larson the Bandit. <laughs> Literally, dude. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my god, I remember you! Darkly? Yes, Darkly! Hey, Darkly. Aw. Listen, I'm I'm so happy that he has found his place in the world. Honestly. I, I truly do love that for him. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. I think there's a star piece or something. Yup. Heck. Yes. Wow, me remembering the locations of the star piece was not on my bingo card, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. That will definitely make backtracking later on in the game not as difficult. Okay. What is going on in here? Because there's a shine sprite above it. Oh, yes. I remember you. What was your name again? Merlin or something? Yes! Oh! Oh my god. The super magician. With three shine sprites, he can power up my partners and give them new attacks. But unfortunately, I have zero shine sprites. That's incredible, Merlin. Incredible. Yeah. I, I don't have I don't have any shine sprites, but she'll be able to use multi-bonk to attack a foe multiple times. So it's kind of like jumping, jumping, jumping over and over again which we will definitely need, but I cannot get right now. Oh, I'll be back. I will be back. Awesome. Okay, this is so freaking awesome. <sighs> What's in here? Oh, that's definitely Professor Franklin's office. I mean, that's a picture of him above it. So before we go in there... Hi. An outsider, that's rude. The turf of Ishnael, head of the robos. It costs 10 coins to pass through. Oh God. Oh no. Wait, I can fight him? Can I fight him? Wait, actually? Oh, we're actually fighting. Okay. I don't remember this. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay. And I can swap the order of Goombella and Mario to 
God, I just love the battle style in this game, and I'm so excited. What is Tattle Check? What is what is Tattle Check? Oh, that is so. Oh my God, that is so amazing. That I think is a new feature. So before, and that was an issue with Malo in Super Mario RPG. When you did the little attack to get the HP and the information about an enemy, you had to memorize it. You couldn't, like that was it, it was done. Now, when you tattle on a type of enemy with Goombella, you can for free check what, oh my God. That is so, so helpful, y'all. Do not understand. Oh my God, okay. What I will say, I cannot jump on this enemy, I believe, because of his little spear. So what I won't be doing is that, but what I will be doing is the hammer. Perfect, okay. And then Goombella cannot head bonk for the same reason, but it doesn't matter because we tattle on every enemy here. That's the goal, at least. Press A once the cursor is inside the circle. Okay. Yes! Ah! The stylish point. Those will come in uh, handy later as well. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. That's hilarious. He has 20 HP. Oh, we're gonna be here for some time then. Okay. There we go, confirmation. <laughs> All right, Gus. Oh, let's freaking go, bro. <sighs> And his freaking HP is visible underneath him. I think that that might not be new. I don't know. I don't know. But that again was not in Super Mario RPG. So that is a change they made in Paper Mario. And again, quality of life wise, incredible. The problem with Goombella is she can't really do anything useful here because we can't head bunk with her and we've already tattled. So what I'm gonna actually do for this round, we'll just defend, but I'm gonna switch them in the future so that Goombella's in the front so that if he attacks like that, because I'm not gonna be perfect at blocking every time, he can at least attack Goombella who has defended. So she'll be a little bit of, in a little bit better of a position. Yeah, there we go, okay. And then we will just bang it out. Bring it, guys. There we go. Defend. And as you guys can see the background for the battle. Oh my God. Okay, I was not expecting that. And I was talking crap about you looking crazy. My bad. Yeah, I won't be running. I will not be running. Ooh, okay. Here's the thing though. If I remember correctly, in Super Mario RPG, Mario can die. As long as his partner, a partner is available and alive, Mario can die. I think in this game, if Mario dies, it doesn't matter how much HP his partner has. So I don't want to get game over, that's for sure. And now, oh God. Oh, interesting. So I'm in danger, but I'm not in peril. Danger is when my HP is running low, but peril is like, I'm literally about to die right now. And there's usually a really annoying beeping sound that's constant, but it's not present. I'm going to use a mushroom just to be safe because we will not be getting game over right now. That's something I have no intention of doing. And I'm gonna have to be really like focused on this guy because I did not know he could throw his spear at me. <laughs> okay. Period. Period. Okay. Now we can go back to defending. Period. Defend. And hammer. We're almost done, you guys. What I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, though, is the background of the stage is where we're battling. Like, where we're, like, where we're battling. I was gonna say in real life, but that wouldn't make a ton of sense. <laughs> it's where we're battling in the game, which is cool. So you guys can see the background is literally the section of the game we're in. I love it. See, he got smart and stopped attacking me, like, oh. 
amazing. All right, you're done, dude. You're freaking done. Now I'm gonna switch them back so Mario can be in the front and take the lead, ending this battle. Yay! Oh, heck yeah! 22 star points? Let's freaking go! We did that, y'all. And now I get to pass for free, not video game heroes, dude. Breaking the third wall much? <laughs> okay, so again, doing everything before we do what we're supposed to be doing. Were you here? Yeah, 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 you're goom free. Okay, doing everything before what we were supposed to be doing. We're gonna go ahead and go to the right to this little bonus area over here. East Rugeport, this is the turf of Ishnail and his crew of robos, yep. Um, respectfully, the entire town's run down, babe. I'm so sorry to bring it to you. Um, okay. Who are you exactly? Swindell. <laughs> like Swindle? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's Arfer over there. Hey, Arfie. The Trouble Center! Yes! Yes! Uh, oh god, I freaking love it. Happily. Oops. Sorry, I did not mean to abuse you. <laughs> oh, love that, Arfur. So yeah, eventually I'll be able to turn paper thin and slither through this crack, but I cannot do that for now. So for now, we will leave it. That door is locked. Okay. Is this door locked? Say no. Dang it. Okay. We will definitely be back to the trouble center because that's going to be a very exciting time. And you guys see there's a treasure chest down there that I cannot yet get to, but we will definitely get to it at some point. And then this is just a completely locked door, so that's not gonna happen. And we're blocked. Okay, we will be back though, we will be back. I think it is finally time to give Professor Frankly a visit, you guys, what do you think? <sighs> Yay. Okay, okay, here we go. Ugh, this is so disrespectful. Rude. Thank you, thank you, Professor, for remembering me. God, or remembering her. <laughs> go Goombas! Okay, we'll see about that. to hear that oh so you haven't heard of me it's awkward very awkward mm. amazing little bit just a little bit okay uh-huh uh-huh so it can be anything from a treasure chest to a monster great <laughs> Yes, the crystal stars! Seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Will do, Professor, will freaking do. beneath this town. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I gotta go through the grates to get there. I just remember that too. Oh. Oh, wow. Do I have news for you, Professor? Do I have news for you? Yeah, I know. I know. It's bonkers. It's bonkers. <laughs> yes. Of course you can. Of course you can. Oh, 
Aww. Oh, he knows who I am now. Oh, that's excellent. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, the sewers underneath. Yep. Just how I remember. Oh my God. The animation of the door flipping up is everything. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I'm like hitting a book or something. Okay. Oh. Oh man, that would have been cool if it wasn't though. Ooh, I can open that. Okay. 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 I don't think there's anything. In here? Oh, what's in here? Oh, was that the door? I think that was the door. Dang, I thought it was this box. Well, that is okay. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Frankly. Oh, awesome! Okay. Will do. Um, I do want to go check, though, to see if where I started is still like wilding. I don't think it is, but I didn't talk to a lot of people down there and I should also definitely save. Fantastic. Okay. Let's head back down and see if anything's changed down here. Okay. Still nothing over there. Yeah. I can talk to everyone now though, which is good. Amazing. And who are you, my kind fella? A toad sailor. Aw, I bet he does. Oh, my eyes are peeled, dude. My contacts didn't fall out. <laughs> Ooligans. Amazing. And who are you, sir? <laughs> A patch. Okay. And you? Oh, you look worried. Aww. Oh my god, I, he definitely will. He definitely will. Well, I'm usually the one that's gone, so it's really is Luigi worried about me, to be honest with you. Okay. I mean, shine sprites back here. I really need to find the first shine sprite and confirm that what I remember, which is they're in random places, is actually true. I'm pretty certain it is, though. All right, we talked to you already. Oh. Okay, that's really depressing. Jesus. Nothing good. Think you're my last one. Oh, sorry, I. <laughs> Bombardo. Oh my gosh. Excellent. And then is there anything over here I can do? Probably not. Oop. Yeah, I already jumped on here, I think. But let me just see if I can. Gosh darn it. Okay. Probably not worth it. I don't think there's a shine sprite up here anyway. If I. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not trying to lose a bunch of HP. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to do, you guys? I think this is the perfect stopping point for this first video. And in the next video, we will join Professor Frankly underground in the sewers where apparently we will be going to the Thousand Year Door to see the location of our first crystal star. Before we officially close out this video, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway and I will be giving away a copy of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo Switch. This giveaway is in no way affiliated with any third parties and it is not affiliated with YouTube in any way. It is simply just me wanting to give back to those of you who support my channel. So if you guys are interested in winning your own copy of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, here is how 
how to enter. To enter this giveaway, you must do three very simple things. Obviously, I wanna give back to somebody who supports me and my channel. So first, I need you to be subscribed to my channel. It is completely free. Just hit the subscribe button below my video and you will be subscribed. Secondly, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much more than you guys realize. And again, it's free. And lastly, leave me a comment telling me how you found this video, how you found my channel in the first place, or something you just want to see from me in my channel. And I will comment back confirming you have in fact been entered in the giveaway. The giveaway will be open for 72 hours only, okay? The game just came out and I wanna get you guys a copy of it as soon as possible so you can play along with me. So it will only be open until Monday at 12 noon Eastern time, 72 hours after the video you guys are watching goes live. And this last part is very important, so listen closely. Do not leave any contact information in your YouTube comment, okay? The comment will get auto-deleted and I will never see it. So you might be wondering, Michaela, how the fork am I supposed to know if I won? Here's how you do. If you are the winner of this copy of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, I will first comment on your comment telling you that you did in fact win the giveaway. If you are the winner and I comment on your comment letting you know that, you will then need to send me an email at the email address that is in the description box of every single YouTube video I post. And in that email, obviously just let me know who you are and that you are the winner of this giveaway. I will then respond to your email with a code word. Lastly, you will then need to edit your original YouTube comment and include that code word that I emailed to you. And because you're the only person that can edit your YouTube comment, that is how I will be able to verify that the email I received was from the actual winner. Once I'm able to verify everything, the rest will take place via email where I will confirm your information and send you your prize. The winner will be chosen completely randomly out of my comment section and you can only enter once. Again, it is completely free to enter and all of the official rules for the giveaway will be listed down below in the description box. So make sure y'all read everything down there before you do anything. And again, thank you so incredibly much for supporting these videos. Y'all support of these videos allows me to continue making them and gives me a reason to continue making them. And Nintendo games have a very special place in my heart. I've been playing video games basically since I was born as early as I can remember. And the Mario franchise in specific, it, it's my go-to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will be along for the ride. That will be this game. The next video will be coming out sooner than you think. And I'm already so excited to film it. I'm literally about to do it right now. So thank you guys again. And I will see y'all in my next video. Goodbye and go thrive.